What is going on guys, it's Skills here and welcome back to another Modern Warfare Spec Ops Guide. Today we're going to show you how to unlock Otter uh, for Modern Warfare Co-op and also Modern Warfare Multiplayer. This is also the guide of Operation Crosswind. Um, so let's fire into things. Obviously, as always, we tell you to use the Medic class um, and in regards to munitions for this particular mission, uh, you're best to have some um, cruise missiles and also get yourself a sentry gun. So make sure you're teamed up with a team of four in this. Uh, the more people that have the munitions that I've just mentioned there, the easier this is going to be for you. So once again, sentry guns and cruise missile. You can leave the last slot for like ammo and that, uh, but we'll go for that in a moment. So with Operation Crosswind, it gives you the option to go in stealthy or you can go in guns blazing. Now, personally, I prefer to go in guns blazing. It just means if you're trying to get all tactical and stealthy and one person fucks it up, then you kind of are fucked. Um, if you go in with just uh, basic weapons with suppressors, etc., it's not going to be as effective as just going in guns blazing. Plus, going all tactical, there's obviously way more tactics involved in it and you're just going to make things a lot more time consuming for no reason. So as I say, let's just go in, guns fucking blazing. So the first pit, you're just making your way to um, the first objective. Pick off enemies as you get there. Um, with this particular one, there is a lot of juggernauts in this particular um, mission. So that's why you're going to want things like sentry guns um, and your shields. So for instance, if you put a sentry gun down, um, it will start shooting the juggernaut and then all you need to do is whip out your shield the juggernaut will obviously spray its mad massive gun at you uh, but you can just take all the damage with your shield so that's a very easy way of killing juggernauts is letting them fire at you while there's a sentry gun uh, spraying absolute fuck out them obviously we've got the LMG here for this particular class we've used uh, a class with a light machine gun and a shield um, that's one I always advise to use. Um, having LMGs is great because when you've got a lot of enemies coming towards you, you don't need to reload as much. You can literally spray a whole clip and the clip lasts quite some time. So instead of having to shoot maybe three enemies, then reload, shoot three enemies, reload, you can shoot about 20 enemies before having to reload. Uh, so it's a very useful uh, weapon to have. And as I say, always have a shield. Uh, it gives you protection on your back when you do have your gun out. And when you've got a lot of enemies coming towards you, again, just take your shield out and take the fire. It's very useful. Um, a shield if you are the last man standing and you want to kind of waste some time so that your team can join back in the session. So I highly recommend having a shield. And again, I highly recommend having a light machine gun. So as I say, for this particular part, you're just going to be wiping out uh, juggernauts Um so I say you need to be close to the objective, otherwise it's not going to load. So you need to be nice and close, which is why I recommend putting a wee sentry gun down where you need to camp. Uh, only get one person to do this, don't want to keep wasting sentry guns. For this particular part, it's not the hardest, so um, if you've only got a uh, one sentry gun or if you've only got two sentry guns, I wouldn't put it down in this particular section. Only if you've maybe got a team of three or four and you've got lots of sentry guns that you can use. But if you've only got two sentry guns, I wouldn't put it down here. I would just waste the juggernauts with your light machine guns. If you all concentrate fire on the juggernauts, it should help a lot. Um, or you can use your cruise missile and drop a big massive bomb on his head, which will also do the trick. So, as I say, it's always useful to have Medic um, when you've got a few members of your team down. It means you can pick them up without having to go near them, which is very, very useful when you're the last man standing. So, once we've done the first part, which we let it all load, you're going to need to make your way into the airport itself. And there's going to be a lot of juggernauts in there too. Uh, with this particular part, again, I would prop down a sentry gun. Um, even if you've only got one or two, I'd definitely pop down a sentry gun this particular part it's a close quarters fight you're going to have um, and again you need to wait um, in this room and um, while the foul downloads so pop a sentry gun in there get your shields up and defend that particular area uh, you're going to need to be in there for a while you can maybe have one person just kind of run around spraying off the enemies as they come in but i'd have at least two people in the particular room 
that where the file transfer is happening um, and just taking the fire uh, and shooting those juggernauts while the sentry gun does the rest of the work for you. Um, so once you've done that, you're going to want to make your way to uh, the plane. Um, there is a few um, quad bikes um, about the place so you can jump on one of those or ATVs, whatever you want to call it. Jump on one of those and make your way to the plane. Uh, for whatever reason, there was a wee glitch on this particular session where all the enemies were just chilling underneath the plane, which was kind of weird, having a wee orgy there. Um, so make your way on to the plane. Now, this particular part is a checkpoint. You get checkpoints in all these kind of spec up missions. So if you, I think you reach halfway, you'll have a little checkpoint. Um, so basically, if you die, you'll just come back to this bit, but only if everyone says yes to restart mission. If even one person says no to restart mission, the whole mission will go back to the very start uh, of the particular operation. So it's very vital. You play with a team of four. Um, if you do all die, because it means you just come back to this particular section rather than all the way back to the beginning again. Um, so this particular part, it's all about going in guns blazing, it's all about going in there as fast as possible. As you can see, there's a clock at the top left where you need to kind of get to the objective before the time runs out. So as you see, I'm just picking up weapons like shotguns, sprinting in, firing uh, bullets at enemies' faces, and that's really what your whole team needs to do. It's nothing about stealth, nothing about accuracy, it's really just run in, shoot, as many people as you can, as fast as you can, get through, breach doors, go crazy. Now, uh, this section, there is a juggernaut uh, waiting for you. Uh, you blow his bedroom door off and he comes out pretty angry. Uh, so watch out for that. Um, get your guns ready. Uh, and again, if all four of you are concentrating to fire on them, then he'll die quicker. However, you can kind of just run past them if you really want to, but I'd probably advise taking them out so he doesn't run down the stairs behind you and start spraying you from behind. Uh, again, just make your way through the plane. Don't try me too tactical, just make sure everyone's firing uh, their guns, maybe stun the enemies if you've got stun grenades or your particular class, um, and just wipe the enemies out. You need to kind of rush through, so try not to be too tactical for this particular part. Once you're nearly at the objective, you will so basically need to run through, pick up the platinum core. I need to keep running, as you'll probably tell, the timer is still running out. And to pick up that, you press X. And to get the door at the end, you press X. We will then skydive out of the plane. I, the first time doing this, thought that was it done. But nope, there's more. Um, so unfortunately, I don't have the footage for this particular part. It died. Um, so this part, you'll need a sentry gun for. You will make your way uh, to the next objective. Um, there will be a helicopter or a chopper, gun or whatever you want to call it, uh, raining fire towards you. So again, you can all concentrate fire with your light machine guns or if you've got something like a cruise missile, which we spoke about at the start, you can obviously use that to take out the helicopter straight away. Um, one person will not really be able to fire uh, whoever's holding the core will need to carry the core. You can place it down, but it gets a bit fiddly having to pick it up, put it down, pick it up, put it down just to kind of shoot. Um, this part is pretty damn crazy as well. You will need your shields for this. Um, there's going to be a lot of enemies coming towards you, um, including juggernauts, etc. Uh, you'll be defending an area as you wait on your uh, own helicopter coming to pick you up. So again, having a sentry gun is much advised. With this class that I'm using as well, I've got mines, so I like just placing lots of mines, um, you know, on areas that I can't see. So if there's possible enemies coming behind me, I'll plant a few mines there so I can still concentrate fire where I want to fire. Um, once you have held um, the little helicopter pad uh, for a while, um, the helicopter will come and take you away, and that's pretty much the mission done. Um, but yeah guys, definitely make sure you are a medic, make sure you have sentry gun and cruise missile um, and that is kind of the main things and again, always have a shield and always have an LMG, it's going to help you massively. But yeah guys, make sure to thumbs up the video, I hope you enjoyed this. I've also got the other guides up on my channel as well, so make sure to check out how to do all the spec op missions on my channel and I'll see you guys next time.